We're now going to see how the three lines of defense model can be applied to cybersecurity. You know the three lines of defense model. You have you know, first line, second line, and third line of defense. The first line, line of defense being responsible for managing risks. Of course, here we're looking at cybersecurity risks. But I'd like to say that this model, of course, is applied to a lot more than just cybersecurity risks, but my examples will be on cybersecurity. So it implements cybersecurity risk measures. Uh, it implements cybersecurity security measures. The second line of defense is responsible for overseeing the risks. And you know, as you know from this model, monitors and challenges the first line of defense. This is typically, say, you know, the chief information security officer. We'll, we'll see more about this soon. The third line of defense you should be very familiar with, this is internal audit. So it gives assurance over, say, cybersecurity risks. To go into more detail, the first line of defense manages and is directly responsible for cybersecurity risks and putting in place appropriate controls. If something goes wrong, indeed, they, they're there, they are the ones that get blamed. You have to understand that management kind of straddles the first line and second line of defense. They're in some roles in the first line of defense and some roles in the second line of defense. But indeed, you know, when something goes wrong, management is responsible in this kind of first line of defense capacity. So for our second line of defense, it monitors and assesses the management of risks by the first line of defense. And here's the thing, it should generally, it should generally be independent from the first line of defense. A chief information security officer or a risk uh, management department should not generally report to IT, and we're gonna put this in um, kind of in quotation marks for the moment, because we're going to see a bit later who the CISO actually reports to in practice. But a good, I'd say a good place to put a CISO is definitely in the second line of defense and with a good amount of independence in their role. It doesn't need to be a chief information security officer. It can also be a risk management function, not necessarily a department, but those taking care of risk as a second line of defense. Finally, as you're very familiar with, our third line of defense gives assurance over whether the two preceding lines of defense you know, give adequate oversight on the risk and are controlling risks themselves. So you know, whether the second line provides adequate oversight over the risk, and whether the first line of defense you know, is, is properly managing the risk so that we do not have it. We identify, assess, and report on residual risk exposures. In other words, we perform internal audits.